This is the BMW 330 Diesel X-Drive M Sport in the lovely Alpine white with 31,000 miles on, on a 2017 67 Reg. This is a tremendous car for many reasons. One is it's only done 31,000 miles. It is the X-Drive, so it has a 4x4 ability. And it is the 330 diesel, which is a six cylinder engine. Sound beautiful, but more importantly, they go tremendously well. Great amount of new to meters of torque on these cars. Today we're live pricing this car's only 21,990. It has a few extras. First of all, it's an M Sport. I talk about that all the time. The M Sport has the bigger bumpers, the bigger seats, and everything's a bit more sort of sportier. The obvious difference in this one, you've got the black M double slats grills on there. This one's also got the adaptive LED headlights on this. But if you come all the way around here, you'll see from the side angle, you've got this lovely glass piece. And then as you walk around, you'll see the light shining through. So that's an LED style daytime running lights. And just behind there, you've got LED headlights. Front parking sensors and you've got park assist. So the car does power up park itself. Other extras you'll notice right away is you've got an upgraded 19 inch alloy wheels with the M-Sport braking system just behind it. Some protection glass and the high gloss black window surrounds. In the Alpine white with the black bits on, the car just looks tremendous in every single way. Full leather interior, you've then got things like heated seats, lumbar support, and you've got Harman Kardon sound system. I love music, I talk about it all the time. It's just nice to have a, a sound system which doesn't sort of squeak or crackle. It just delivers on what it should. You've got the A-speed gearbox with this one with a paddle shift, the heated seats, the dual zone climate control, and if you look here, part of the M Sport seat, not only does it hug you in nicely because they're sports seats, but this section at the end here, if you pull it, it pops out and it supports you behind your thighs here, so, and you can tilt it. You, so that, that's up and down, you can do all so If you press this button, it tilts forwards or gives you more support, so it just depends on your driving and your sort of passengers comfort pattern really. Brushed aluminium trim on the centre dash, middle dash and the door cards. You've got the booklets with all the manuals in there as well. The car does come with two keys. And on this particular one, you've got heated steering wheel as well. Can you see it just underneath? This button here, which I don't talk about all the time because not every car has it, it's got a little button at the bottom here. When you press that, it has the, with the adaptive LED headlights, automatically it'll go on high beams. As, the car, as a car turns up in front of you, it'll cut a box out and it'll shine the light around him or her. If you're on high beams, if a car is coming towards you, it'll dip one side. As that car passes, it'll go back on high beams. So it's very clever and it's tremendous, especially for someone like me who lives in a, a village where it's not very well lit. This is tremendous because it works awesome. Otherwise, I've seen it, people put the high beams on to get best visibility. A car comes towards them, but the next six seconds they're panicking and they're giving it back, trying to knock it off. So this one does all that for you. Icefix friendly uh, child seat attachments in there. Three point seat belts for each passengers, full leather interior, and you have got a 12 volt socket in the back there as well. With a Harman Kardon, you have the extra speakers on both door cards. And again, that bust aluminum trim with the extended lever is on the back of the door cards just there. Another fine extra on this car is this lovely lip spoiler. It's only small, but I keep talking about there's the little things, it doesn't need to be a great big whale tail, just small, nice and neat, colour coded, just looks good, gives it more of a sportier factor. LED style rear lighting system with the LED rear indicators, and being the 330, you've got the twin pipes on the same side. Another extra is the reversing camera. So not only do you have the reversing parking sensors, but you've got the colour reversing camera, which will aid you again to get you the best parking that you need. Nice big boot space, seats go down 60-40, and you have that net which has already been fixed in place for you, so if you are carrying loose items, it'll just hold it in place, and it won't roll about, so when you get home, the apple's not over there, and your milk's not over there, so you can just secure your luggage in there. The car is in a very, very beautiful condition. It's doing 31,000 miles, would have a couple of stone chips, 100%, but do we sell a car with dense scratches, curved alloy wheels? Absolutely not, because if you look at this there, that's a very fine example of how an alloy wheel should look. And as you come in, all my headlights. Another extra is electric folding mirrors. I've spoke about this previously. It's amazing how a car costing nearly 40 odd thousand pounds brand new hasn't got electric folding mirrors. So it's an extra that this one has. Push button start. Your paddle shift, as I mentioned before. And as you look straight over here, you'll note the new squares. This is the new iDrive system, dead easy to use. Where do you want to go? Navigation, media, Bluetooth, YouTube, and it's easy as that. It doesn't have to get any harder. Down here, this is a touchpad. So, for example, if you go on 
navigation again and enter new destination um, let's just go address input for example and let's go with um, Ackland Road now here you would normally go and find A, B, C or whatever you want to find with this pad you just go A B C so you can literally use it as a pad really um, you've also got voice control as well so when you press this button radio 1 and it takes you to where you want pretty much so you can you can use all the tools that the car has and it is brilliant at 21.9 i know it is tremendous value mainly because of the specification i don't wish to bad mouth any other garage or anyone else that's selling similar cars but when we advertise the cars we do look at our competitors we see what else is out there genuinely the other three footers that i've seen that are available a lot of them haven't got the 19 inch alloys haven't got the m spot braking system the adaptive leds the black grills reversing cameras all the bits that i've spoken about they haven't got they're what you call just a stock car with no extras whatsoever so if my car is £900 more than what you wouldn't want to spend, I can assure you that that £900 that I'm asking for is well worth it. Because your everyday creature comfort, you're going to get it, and then comes resale value. Because I think everybody would prefer to sell a car or buy a car with a few extras on. It just makes it a bit more desirable. My name's Joe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.